Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dune Spice Wars. I started the game and forgot to uh, hit the recording button, but now we're back and we are good to go. Don't worry, you only missed me capturing the first village. Certainly some very high octane action, but we are going to be trying to take over Arrakis with a combination of uh, art and, uh, you know, paintings and masterpieces, all that sort of good stuff. So we need to start planning where we want to get our sanctuaries. That is going to be one of the first things that we do here. Of course, we have our spice field and we have military production and cheaper buildings here, which is actually a very good village trait. Fuel cells are very, very important for the ECAS, but I want to see if I can get a Plasteel right out of the gates as well. But yeah, we also want to probably get a third Ornithopter, even though it does cost quite a bit. I think it's worth it with the ECAS because you really need to be able to kind of plan your empire out and see how that's going to go. So we're going to sit here for a second and talk about our counselor. So we do have Elisa ECAS. So she lets you leverage your Landsrad reputation. So you can spend three of your Landsrad standing, if I'm not mistaken, to become immune to a negative uh, resolution, something like that. I spawn next to the pole. I will sell you all the water. <laughs> That's pretty good. A deep desert's a really good find for us because that allows us to get pretty easy sanctuaries because it counts as an edge. And ECAS gets big benefits by surrounding neutral territories with your territories and or the walls of the map, different things like that, and uh, going from there. So we have our harvester, which is good. And let's go ahead and start on water here. It's not amazing. We do have a plasteel fuel cells, uh, plasteel special region up there. And where are we exactly? Okay, we're in like the bottom corner here. So I think I'm going to grab the... The fuel cells are good, but we don't need them like right away. So I think we got to get this, but I do want to get that first sanctuary up really quickly, um, depending on what's over here. So let's grab this new ornithopter we have and fly it over there and do a little bit of scouting. So I know it's a little bit like we're delaying our uh, grabbing of our villages and our expansion a little bit, but I think just planning our territories. This could be a really good one right here to have be a sanctuary. Uh, so that's good. Let's go down this way. We can potentially do this. Okay, so this looks like a, a good region here. So what would we get? We would get this. We would get this. So let's say I make this a sanctuary. I think that's a pretty good spot. It's going to be hitting a multitude of our regions down here. So we can go up here and grab this. Uh, we have military production bonuses and water as well. But our counselors, uh, let's talk about them. So this one gives us Landsrad standing for every masterpiece we build. And this other character, Mesa, uh, lets you build masterpieces and villages and then you get a full refund for abandoning villages which is really really nice and for every masterpiece you have in an abandoned village you get a little bit of authority so it's really funny you go up to next to somebody's border you place a bunch of art next to their border and uh you know and uh yeah you get authority from that and it also kind of stifles your opponent's expansion which i think is pretty good yeah and that's a deep desert here so this is a pretty easy sanctuary to get out of the gate so i think we're going to do that now text we got composite materials intelligence network and local dialect studies and let's go ahead and grab that. Another fuel cell up here. Uh, if this is spice down here, that's going to be really good. Oh, rare minerals. Okay, that's actually nice too. No complaints about that. First agent is going to be assigned to Arrakis, which is going to give us influence right uh, out of the gates here. And we can, nope, fencers aren't very good. Just go for the musketeers. And uh, this is nice that it's so cheap here. All right, so military. Yeah, we get per military building. I think I'm just going to hang tight on that for now. Um, we can build a special building there at some point. That's going to be very strong. We do have good water in this region. Unfortunately, the village traits uh, don't really synergize too well with that. But let's go ahead and grab that. Looking good. And come back this way. And yeah, we're going to want the fuel cells. We already see smugglers all up on the borders here. Looking a little bit hostile. Smugglers are always like raiding early on. Uh, typically. So we got 59. So I would like to get this special region down here if we could. That'd be good. I wonder if we're going to get hit from the north. Let's go ahead and throw a heavy in there just to buy some time. Just a couple scavenger troopers, and these are really nice to get if you can. So this is a free ornithopter. Those ones, because ornithopters cost, you know, 300, and there's a free uh, free tech as well. Okay, so that is the village down here. We can capture that, and it does have, oh, we get money based on the water the village produces, which is okay. Uh, it's only going to be three water at that village, so it's not going to be too insane or anything, but still worth doing. All right, so spice harvester is going. I need to get a second spice field. Oh, great volcano. That's also another very good one for us. I do like that. And what are the village traits we have in this village here? So water and then, yeah, pillaging sieges nearby, which is a strange one. Smugglers are already like right up on our shit. So I'm going to be going pretty political here. I'm going to do the diplomatic maneuvers, although I should probably go for, yeah, the artistic inspiration is really good. Um, let's go for that and then we can go artistic inspiration afterwards. This political one is really nice. It starts giving you uh, like free gifts from the houses, which is just prime time. All right, so are the smugglers going to do anything? It looks like they're just raiding. Yeah, I don't think they're going to come down and attack me. That would be very ballsy to do that that early. I do have 25 water, so I should be adequate for grabbing that village. And we're about to get that free ornithopter there. So let's resolve that and bring you down here. We can assign the free one as a guardian there. And uh, we'll get another musketeer. I don't know if they're going to attack, so I want to be ready just in case they do. Sometimes smugglers get aggro like really early on, like really, really early. 
All right, so we got four water there. Let's get a little bit of plasteel, and then we'll build some military buildings via the masterpieces here. But we need to get the southern village and create our first uh, little network. Yeah, he's only got a couple units, um, so it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, he's getting his pillaging on. He's certainly doing quite well. And here we get the military building, so I would like to throw down knowledge, but getting manpower early on might be prudent, considering that we have a potentially very aggressive neighbor. All right, so this is going to be ours. Yeah, looks good. Landsrad is going to be doing some developments here. I think if he attacks, we're okay. We do have a squire nearby. He should be able to support the heavy militia. So we got the rare minerals. I need to find another spice field, though. What I can do is take this village and set up a bunch of art in it. So elected markets. So I'm going to make myself immune to this. It will cost me 10 Landsrad, but I really don't want to get hit. Well, is it really a big problem at this point? I don't think it is. Um, I think saving our, yeah, we're fine. We don't care to be immune to either of those. So we're just going to decline this because uh, we don't want to go in the pits lands rad wise. So we're just going to put our free votes into that. Yeah, I think that's good. And uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, Fremen would want to vote this and same with smugglers. If they both teamed up to vote the trial of the great houses, that would punish both me and Atreides and would have no effect on the Fremen or smugglers. So smugglers don't get into the lands rad system until a little bit later in the game. So that was denied. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like smugglers tried to get that one through. Clever girl, extra evil. All right, so maintenance centers. Yeah, we don't have any synergistic maintenance center setups, which kind of sucks. But um, again, we uh, are going to start placing some fat amounts of art in people's territory uh, when we can. It's really good for like cutting off angles, making people not want to like come at you. Ready for the hunt. Yeah, because like they can't set up a forward base because destroying a masterpiece takes away uh, Landsrad standing. And also, I believe you lose authority. I think I'm not sure about the authority, but could. All right, so we got that tech done, and now we got the... Do we want to do cultural tourism? Um, insulated Valley is okay. Let's go ahead and get diplomatic maneuvers, and this region is going to be ours, so let's get the cells there. I think we do need some manpower buildings, um, and plus we have the military kind of quirk in that village. So we do that, and then we also have the military quirk here, so let's go ahead and throw down double manpower. And we can come over. Let's get you to fly here, buddy. Do this and get you in safe mode so you don't get eaten. Yes, yes. That's going to hurt our eco a little bit. Yeah, spice markets, let's go ahead and sell a little bit more to try and keep our economy in the positive. I can obviously pillage as well, but what I want to do is, since I don't have any intention of expanding out here, is I'm going to make this an art village. So we are going to start getting the art party going. Uh, this one is ready to take as well, but we'll go back and get that because when we abandon the village, it's, uh, yeah, it's got to be good. And this will give us a lot of authority as well. So let's get the free technology over here. You got the smuggler. Yeah, he's just looking at freebies down here. So we're going to take this and uh, hopefully this village will be uh, explored here. Then we get a maintenance center right here and it will hit these regions up here. Unfortunately, we don't have a maintenance center. We do get that character and our water is at uh, just 18. So not too great. All right, so pulling back. Uh, do we have enough? Let's go replenish our supplies and we can push across and have some fun. All right, so we are going to go for knowledge and hedge gains out of the gates probably. So we're going to go for the 100 free boats. We're going to be playing pretty politically this game. So Research Hunter is a really good first one to get. 25% um, knowledge is quite good, especially since uh, we're going to start building the uh, knowledge buildings here soon. All right, so maybe let's just go grab this. We have time to set up the art. And getting a sanctuary up quickly here is going to be extremely prudent and also a maintenance center. Uh, maintenance center, I believe we already have it from local dialect studies. Let's see. I, I think I already have it. So we are A-OK. -okay. We are A-OK. -okay. So that's good. And uh, let's go ahead and get some water down here since we have the uh, unique trait for it. We do have good manpower production, so we can start getting some militia on our border territories and we grab this and uh, we we live it up man we party yeah cheaper buildings are really nice we definitely want to save that for at least one special region so let's go ahead and get a little knowledge here that's going to be good and uh our eco is going to start going into the pits a little bit so let's sell a little bit more we actually have a 2.6 exchange rate right now which is super solid and this is going to create a sanctuary um which we can you can actually pillage your own sanctuaries which is really funny so um and another fuel cell up there with this faction, with uh, your mechanical units are super good. So you really want to make sure you're grabbing those. Free military tech. And I'm continuing the tradition of just not going military early. And let's see if it bites me in the butt. You know, I, it's we won a fair few games. So it it's a it's a dodgy play style. But, you know, it, it can work. It can work. I like playing greedy personally. It's, it's my favorite way to play. So, you know, play how you like. Play what you enjoy, man. All right. So let's do a little bit of pillaging. We've got that. So that is done. Let's go ahead and get spying. And, um, all right, I'm digging it. Cool. So that is ours. And now we can slap down a maintenance center to cheapen the cost of the nearby regions. And we can do a little bit of pillaging on the far side. Yeah, we'll grab that and then we'll go pillage this. And we get 30 uh, production permanently. That's great. And also the knowledge buildings are going to be popping off. So we have a knowledge building here. Uh, we'll slap one down here also, which will uh, let us start tacking up a little bit. All right, outstanding. And we're going to go play some fat masterpieces around the land. So let's go pillage this. 
And now all of our villages nearby are going to be getting double of their quirks, right? So here in this case, we would want to put more military buildings here. Uh, in this region, what do we get? Intel, if we have uh, at least one building of each type. And okay, 20% resource production, so that's going to be 40%. So we want to get one building of each type in this village and down here we want to get um we're going to get double the money from water which is great so you can see how that like synergizes right it's quite good all right so let's village that and we get another agent cool going down the spying logistics assassination is very much on the table here wow they literally spawned right next to that that's insane um this region is devastated so we can't do anything with that but oh that's a spice field i think we have to take that actually it's 114. All right, so we need to uh, get some art going. So let's go to regions we don't really care for and just try and plop some art down, which will be right here. So we'll do that here. Smugglers are moving. We might fight them here if they try and pillage this because we want that region. So let's go ahead and get the epic quest going. All right, so that's done. And um, as far as other traits, if we get one building of each type, so let's get a knowledge building there. And uh, Landsrad shares are up, not Landsrad, excuse me, the Chome. We're going to take this as a buffer state, and we're just going to put a shit ton of uh, goodies, and we'll expand down this way, and you know, out this way, right? Yeah, this will be like, uh, nobody's going to want this village. Nobody's going to want it, so we'll get in, we'll take it over, we'll fill it up with art, and then we'll leave it, and that's going to be triggering uh, a multitude of buffs, right? So we get 100 gold for every one we build, we get Landsrad standing for every masterpiece we build. It's a really, really fun uh, way to play, I think, but it's my first time trying it, so probably not going to be super optimal, but let's get a couple heavies there. Uh, these guys get pounded. Good, and we take that village, so we take that one, and then we abandon it, getting a full refund, which I love. That's such a cool mechanic. Let's get some more heavies here, and are we heavied out down here as well? Uh, at least two is usually able to defend against most raids, right? Yeah, and then we just spam out masterpieces. So we'll see how this goes. I would like to get it on um, a bunch of regions. So spying logistics is done, and um, Landsrad support is cool and all, but hmm, we might want to start getting a little bit of military tech just so we don't get karate chopped. So we're going to get some of that. We don't know. It, it's my biggest weakness is I, I tend to just love doing that. So, all right, let's get masterpieces. And I know there's a building that allows me to ignore the limit, right? Yeah, removes the limit of masterpieces for a village. Native artist is what I would need. Native artist is right here. So, huh, 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 huh. So we'll get army logistics for the water and then maybe we'll do native artists. So we can uh, gear out the villages with masterpieces. That one's going to be getting sauced and we would then be able to get five. So, okay, where else can we get... Sanctuary. This is a special region. Uh, we could grab this, and that's going to create another sanctuary here, which I think is a good idea. So we'll head over and grab that. And what's cool is it'll be saved for later. So we can grab that as like a win con later on, which is uh, certainly very viable, right? All right. So we got the knowledge. Everything's going good. Uh, you can see that all of our uh, building slots are cheaper. There is a trait. I, I forget which one it is, but there's one with the um, ECAS that makes all your buildings cheaper, uh, buying the building slots. So we do have that. All right, so, yep, we'll continue on our masterpieces. And now we have Imperial Missionaries. Um, the, yeah, these are all fine. There's nothing worth putting down our foot on. Uh, we have 129 votes. We probably do have the most votes. So let's go ahead and get the Imperial Missionaries. See if we can win that. 229, uh, 79. Ooh, never mind. Hold on. So, yeah, we don't care that much. And uh, they're going to beat us on that. So we're just going to try and get... Um, we're just going to try and get the uh, the Diplomatic Congress on ourselves. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play. We're just going to spend our free votes. And we won Diplomatic Congress. Great. Because, yeah, it looks like Atreides went for that. So now everybody's at truce with us. So we can just go around and, and do art things, which is going to be great. And we do have another fuel cell over there we need to grab. All right. So where is our uh, artistic region? All right. So we're looking here. Looking good. We need to get the Museum of Unbound Arts. Uh, 100%. That one's going to be a little bit expensive, I suppose. Um, yeah, we need to get... Yeah, so army logistics, I can just kind of... I guess we'll let it finish. We don't really need it too much right now. We got 95 right here, and um, we are slapping down the art here. So this is going to be raising our Landsrad standing, and we're getting plus 15. And we got peace with everybody, so that's really nice. So we don't want to pillage this. Um, I know this is a really good special region for us, but we have plenty of fuel cells around us, so I think we can afford to have a sweet sanctuary back here, which is going to be like a prime time spot. And we get the gifts here, so let's take the freebies. Um, probably should have taken the money, but it's all good. We'll take the influence. And we get another agent. Let's go on Space and Guild. And uh, now, are we ready to abandon this? Not yet. So you can see we have a limit. We can only build a couple of those, which is unfortunate. But they will be increasing our, um, our, uh, our, our authority, which is great. I think each of them is 3%, so if you have a bunch, it's, it's going to you know, scale up pretty well. All right, so this is how much to take this region. It is going to be 95. Statecraft building production is, is always good. And then we abandon the village when the time comes, and that will be great. And then we can get a garden village back here. 
or a garden resort, which is going to give us a ton of influence and knowledge and things like that. So, all right. So at this point, it's going to be a while before we get that museum. So we're going to abandon this now and boom. So now our authority should be higher. Yeah. Natural artwork is 0.6. So it's not a ton, but it certainly adds up. And then we need to go get that spice field. We just need a second spice field. And it's also, oh man, it's kind of smugglers are already eyeing it down there. They're eyeing it like a piece of meat. Our eco is very haggard right now, but we are going to have very good sanctuaries. All right, so if we have one building of each type, so let's go ahead and slap that down. All right, and that will give us adequate manpower. Let's go ahead and gear you out. And native artists will give us the Museum of Unbound Arts. Uh, as far as the other stuff goes, cultural tourism would probably be a good one to jam, just because we have two sanctuaries already, so that's going to be another sanctuary. So let's go pillage that. And we got five water and a plasteel plus special region up here. So let's get some heavies. Good. And uh, we can just get a ranged militia to support. So we'll do a little bit of pillaging and get the free technologies. All right. So everything's coming together. We got our uh, lovely art up here. And uh, we can go up and place some more art in the north. Grabbing another fuel cell region just to guarantee we don't have a shortage could be really, really important here. Uh-oh. Almost lost this guy. Very potato of me. Uh, come on, musketeer. You can make it. All right. Musketeers appear to have escaped here. And they can just go grab this and this. All right. Cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got we got positive income, which is good. You know, step in the right direction. We're not hurting too bad. And this uh, sanctuary is going to get pillaged. I love that. That's so funny that he has. That's like part of the faction. You're just like pillaging your own sanctuary since it's pretty great. All right. So yeah, we got the natural artwork and it's going to scale up. It's obviously once we get the Museum of Unbound Arts, it's going to be quite a bit better. So let's go here and build the museum. Yeah. And effects of village quirks are applied. Uh, one more time and eat in an allied village with at least five masterpieces. Interesting. So let me read that again. Yeah, that, could, that sounds like it could be pretty strong. Take the money. Let's bounce out of here. And the Museum of Unbound Arts. Okay, removes the limit on masterpieces. Effects of village quirks are applied one more time in allied villages with at least five masterpieces. Okay, so if you go like, oh, I see that. So the, I think, does it remove the limit? Removes the limit on a number of masterpieces. So you could find a village that has like... Like, you know, oh, uh, eco buildings give you this, and then you could just spam a bunch of those, right? I think that's, if I'm understanding it correctly, that's how that works. Yeah, we'll figure it out, though. All right, let's grab that spice. Very good. And now we have the uh, cultural tourism. So we're going to get a little bit of dough there. And um, yes, good etiquette. Good countermeasures. Did we just rush political art? Um, I think we can probably rush down this tree and just go for this. It's really good. It gives you 15 influence every time you build a masterpiece, which is very synergistic with what we want to be doing, so... All right, so airfield down there could be okay. Uh, there's a worm call, probably going to eat this poor soldier here. Uh, I don't think we're going to be getting aggressed because nobody's going to want to spend the influence on the... Let's go Landsrad. Nobody's going to want to spend the influence, right, on the uh, to break the non-aggression pact with us at this point. So let's, uh, that worm's really hunting, Jesus. All right, let's go there. Reveal a siege is going to be next. And uh, yeah, we got, we got some neighbors. We got some ornery neighbors, perhaps. I don't know how ornery, but, you know, somewhere, somewhere in the family of ornery. So water in that region, um, maintenance center is hitting pretty much everything here. You guys, that is a four, so we probably need a supply drop to make sure that our units don't die in a sustained fight over there because it's kind of far away. And then we can, um, yeah, we need to art a little bit harder. I mean, we have a little bit of art going on for sure. You can see the masterpieces are plopped down here, but we need to get a little bit more sweaty hot art action going. Yeah, and we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, so fuel cells here. I mean, obviously, we're going to need fuel cells eventually, so we might as well slap the base on that. And then we can get the knowledge special building. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be Landsrad. So 50 max influence, and we can start. Yeah, you see, we're already capped on influence. We, we want to get that cap increased. All right, boys, let's hustle over. We got the fuel cells going, and uh, we have the double village traits here. So that's good. And then military building. Yeah, and then this one is, if we have two intel, if we have a building of each type, and... Uh, economy production and this one is going to be statecraft production so we'll definitely get a uh, statecraft building there next all right so grabbing another uh, spice field and then we can expand some art like up that way i'm thinking try and keep them uh, keep them at bay there all right so let's get this looking good double sanctuary i mean we could even have another sanctuary here yeah but we need the spice field i feel i think that's going to be very pertinent so let's go ahead and grab that let's get the gunners behind the melee and uh, have some fun. All right, so we can just focus these guys down. Let's do the supply drop. And uh, I don't think it's time to make a champ or anything yet. We got a siege reveal. Uh, where's that siege? And what does it give? It gives you 200% uh, that die in that. Okay, so it's only units that die in that territory, so it's really not worth it. It's not very good, to be honest. So let's just run you back to the to the base here to go heal up. And then you guys can focus those down. And we will be A-OK. -okay. So that's going to be our second spice field. 
and the Museum of Unbound Arts is finished. Once we get one more building here, we're going to be able to get uh, 100 free votes, which is really good. So you just get 100 votes, and uh, that's when we use the political art to start winning offices and uh, just become, you know, a political tyrant. Yeah, because the fact that we got the early, early non-aggression pack thing, I think is really going to help us out a lot. And we do have rare minerals here. This region has been devastated. This one we could build a bunch of art on since it's kind of far away from us. Uh, it's not really super accessible. Yeah, I think we could just art all over that region's face. This is going to be the plan. All right, statecraft development is pretty good for us. Uh, military development, we're going to deny that with our 100 free. Um, and I think that everything else is fine. I'm just going to put like 50 into this. And because it, because it has the deer to the minor houses, so it's going to increase our lands rad standing, which we should be the highest. Yeah, we're crushing them on lands rad right now. That non-aggression pack thing we got is good. That actually got opposed. Interesting. And who opposed that? The Fremen? Oh, okay. Interesting. And the military one was supported. So at this point, we should cut lands rad. Yeah, cut the political art and uh, take advantage of the free military tech. It's stupid not to. Whenever that gets voted, you typically want to do it. <laughs> do it. All right. So let's head this way. And first things first, uh, get the spice going. And then from there, we can get a airfield, which is going to be next on the docket. Uh, this region is going to be 144 to take over, so we'll be back later on. And um, this region is devastated. Uh, we definitely like to get some more of these fuel cell regions. The art, the artening will happen eventually. Okay, so those guys are running, and National Mythos is pretty good. It gives you the war banners. Uh, or, well, it gives you the war banners produce manpower for you, which is really strong. All right, so the army's heading back. Um, I wonder, yeah, we could actually probably take take these villages and then build... Um, that's probably what you do, right? You take the sanctuary villages with Mesa and then you build a uh, you build a ton of masterpieces and then you abandon them. Okay, I'm actually going to try that when they uh, come off the uh, pillage penalty. Something I didn't think of, but, you know, it seems like it could be a good synergy. All right, so the Fremen are creeping up on the borders here. It's 145 right there. That is a uh, sandfall, so that's interesting. Yeah, we want the double fuel cell region. So let's go get this. We definitely want to start getting some listening posts up here. Yeah, the free military tech is going. We'll get the supply drop. And um, over here, yeah, we're not going to get any like good quirks or anything like that. But we definitely have good, um, I would say, a good setup. Yes, we're going to be strong politically, at least. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, let's go to Landsrat again. And uh, we can get this and get a listening post because we border with the uh, the bad boys there. This is going to be open in 16 days, so that's a long-ass time. And here we could do a little bit of pillaging as well. This is the one that has our art in it. Yeah. So we could pillage that still. Not going to be any downsides for that. And definitely want to get an airfield out here because that's like super far away. Not going to be easy to defend, so I need to step up my airfield game. All right. How are we looking? 266. I mean, we're selling. We got double spice online now, so maybe our economy will start to pick up. We're getting all the free military tech because of the 50% uh, speed. Increase, we're going to pillage that village because I have no interest in grabbing that. And we do have the free Landsrad gifts there. And since we have two on Landsrad, that's going to be increasing our uh, our influence by quite a bit. We have to hope that people are going to be greedy and won't like cohesively vote against me. That's that's what we don't want. So 139 for this special region. Um, I think we pillage that. And then we go up here and grab this one. And then we just set up a bunch of art in that one. And then I think uh, that's going to be really nice. We can always grab them later, you know, if we want to. All right, so let's head up. Oh, it's actually devastated still. That's annoying. Okay. So 112 for this. And is there any way we can get... Yeah, we have a deep desert, so this could actually become a sanctuary, but I think we need the fuel cells, so let's grab that. And um, maintenance center, we have one here, but we're probably going to want another maintenance center out here. All right, so let's slap that down. This is going to be the extent of our borders, right? For now, we got the free eco tech looking good. We're not very hard on the eco at this point. Uh, military aggression, I don't think is going to happen. It looks like these smugglers are having a little trouble in their empire. Some of the bases are being raided and whatnot, so that's that's good for us. And fuel cells have popped out, so we want to make sure everything is within the influence of a um, of a maintenance center. Like, that's very, very important. So let's get maintenance center here. All right, looking good. And fuel cells are going to be grabbed here. And this one, yeah, it has a statecraft production, and it should be times two, so it's going to be 40%. And cool, let's grab that. Yeah, would have been an okay sanctuary spot. Honestly, this might be a sanctuary spot for us eventually, too. Um, could be totally on the table. Yeah, that, that's a rare rare region. We're going to want to be on top of grabbing those. And uh, I need to get to the art part. That's like the whole point of this. This this whole point of this recording is to just go crazy with the art. So let's grab that free intel there. Not bad. Although probably, honestly... Oh, hello. Okay. Okay. Fremen are getting a little bit crunk on our borders. They're probably just pillaging. Probably just pillaging. So I might need to make some more infantry. So let's make a war banner and uh, make a second war banner. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Let's get some heavies in here. And uh, are Fremen going to take that over is the question. We'll get a fuel cell out. 
And uh, now we got the military tech pretty good. Uh, War banner is producing manpower. It's going to be very nice for us. Let's grab that if we can. And yeah, I mean, I think we could fight them off. Their army is reasonably small. Uh, it's not too big. That's what she said. And uh, inspiring standard is once we get that, we can switch over to the eco. We need to sauce up our economy. It's pretty haggard right now. All right, what do we got village traits Why? Nothing nothing great in that village, unfortunately. So it's kind of kind of sad face. Looks like they're just pillaging it, which is okay. So they're just trying to keep us off their borders, which, uh, you know, I respect that. I respect that for sure. All right, so war banner is going to be eating up a bunch of our fuel cells. Um, down here we have water production uh, giving us income. So I don't know if it's worth developing that village for now. We got another ornithopter. So let's just have you go auto recon, buddy. Uh, as a matter of fact, actually, let's get the scavenger ornithopter and have him come down here and protect this vice harvester. And yeah, that's going to be good. All right, so we have a good enough military tech that we could probably hold off, I think, an attack at this point. Um, do we need double war banner? Yeah, why not? It, it's gonna, it's actually gonna hurt our upkeep a little bit. We will be refunded here, so let's just do that because our economy is also not great right now. It's not amazing. All right, so we got you on safe mode. We'll get you on safe mode in just a second. We need to have the, yep, there we go. So he's on safe mode, so we shouldn't be losing those. All right, and um, we got the inspiring standard. So that definitely switches our course of action into the old military. This one is going to be free in four days. Uh, where else can we art? We can art up here. Yeah, we can art on this one. So let's just go camp that and get ready to put some art in that bad boy. We can also do a little bit of arting over here. Uh, I think that's not a bad idea. So our plasteel is 87, which is acceptable numbers. It's not amazing, but it's, it's fine. Uh, our money sucks pretty bad. Yep, definitely not great. Inspiring standard so good though. It's really good. Your war banner is just generating you manpower. It's like it's like getting extra uh, buildings that do that. And uh, we'll we'll get the party started here. So we're gonna push in there and we're just gonna camp it until it's uh, until it's time. So three water here. They're not on the border there, so they're not getting too crazy. We got the war banners. War banners actually fight too. They're not just like supporting things. They have like little rocket launchers that they they shoot. Probably need to do a little bit of pillaging, but I do have the, yeah, smugglers have the middle. That's very greedy. Going for middle usually puts a big target on your head, which I'm just happy it's not mine right now. So we can just continue scheming. Let's go full lands rad. So we're going to just get a ton of influence and hopefully, um, what am I eligible for? So I'm eligible for water sellers union, which I actually like. So let's support that charter a little bit and see if you can push that up. Um, I'm curious about the votes of the Atreides. 278 and, um, oh, is it going to come up now? No, it's not. Okay. So the elected faction gains lands rad. We're not really playing Chome, uh, so yeah, nothing we need to make ourselves immune to here. Nothing at all. Uh, I'm not going to use my, I'm going to go for the free votes. 20 Slurry. Okay, we're going to vote on the smugglers for that because it's just a shit ton of free money. So check this out. So normally I would save this, but the fact that I'm voting on smugglers here is going to give me so much money. I'm going to get so much money. Uh, oh man, I hate when that happens. It's like, it doesn't let me like click off this. It's a weird bug. I normally would want to put one here. But Smugglers won that pretty decisively, and I just got 7,000 gold. <laughs> so, I mean, like, talk about a cost-effective trade, right? Uh, intelligence agency, yes, please. That's really good. It gives you agent recruit speed and lets you do all sorts of goodies. So, Smugglers won um, that, which is fine. And um, now we've done this. I think we're good enough. Let's get political art so we can start doing it. Smugglers uh, did get the, I don't know, like, the land, like 30 lands rad standing. Like, whatever, dude. He's still probably below me. Yeah, still below me. All right, so let's get an airfield over here. Make sure nothing gets too out of control. We'll take this and build a bunch of art in it in a second. Uh, then we'll do the same thing over here. We're going to try and just get these lovely artistic regions going. So let's fire it off in one and two. There we go. Okay. So we got the Landsrad boys. We can use them to go run errands around our empire and just go grab random shit, which is, uh, you know, usually a good usage of their time. And you can go get that one. We got the militia. This is being captured, and uh, do I want to get a worm call? Ooh, 7,000, and 7,000 Gs is so good. We're going to be able to just gear out our main base because of this. That's just so good. That's so good and tasty. So, yeah, we got the Plasteel down here. Um, we still have this special building slot we can get. I don't know what I want to get out of the gates. Um, probably just getting a research station to, to sauce things up is always a good idea. The experimental furnace is not going to be that useful for us. Uh oh, that's not good actually. So we need to probably get some more military. So let's get some of these guys and uh, let's start slapping down these and just run away. If he wants to come after it, it's fine, but we're just we're just trying to get the art going. Yeah, the art machine. Hmm. Yeah, so he's pillaging. We're still at peace with him. That is a good army, but I do have the Lance Chad guys who can come back. Um, they're a little bit busy at the moment, but we can get them back here. All right, so let's take that plasteel. 
And uh, we're going to get this one just all geared out. Yeah, that's a big army, but I think we could defend it. I think we could. We have like enough range units that we could probably, and enough military technology that we're not necessarily helpless. So, you know, it doesn't matter which ones you build here. So we're just going to abandon it and, you know, laugh it up all the way to the bank. All right, let's grab that. Yep, get the money. We're going to get another scavenger ornithopter over there. We have the maintenance center helping on the periphery. And good. So we got the dough. And that's going to complete this region. Then we're going to go even more political and uh, to get the second trait too. And then we'll go very light on eco since, well, you know, we just need enough eco to kind of sustain, really. All right, let's get that. And yeah, we'll do all the colors of the rainbow there. And then we'll abandon that when the time comes. All right, so we have a good military to definitely fight off the smugglers on our home territory. If we attack them, obviously, it'd be a little bit different, but that ain't the game plan. Okay, can our base defend itself here? The garden world, uh, probably right here is going to be really good. Plus two knowledge per adjacent sanctuary. So that's going to be plus four knowledge and um, plus influence per masterpiece in this region and its neighbors which isn't that much unfortunately but it will give us plus four knowledge which is very good um so do we have any masterpieces we don't at the moment but we certainly could build some yeah we'll see all right so maybe it would be prudent to get a little bit of an eco boost now i think that would be that would be smart uh do we need that that's the land drive council opening and max influence yeah all right so let's just keep this one going we gotta gotta keep playing these games here these political games looks like our defenders there were able to handle their business and we almost got political art political art is super super good it's one of the best techs actually and uh yeah let's get the garden world here i think that's gonna be really nice so that gives us plus four uh to the knowledge and we can also get knowledge up here now so let's just get it everywhere and then we can get the research station i think it's gonna be prudent to get that it's just a staple you know getting fast research is just so big that's what she said um all right so how are we doing here let me turn my game volume up Okay, I can hear now. We're, we're back in business. We got the art there. This region is going to be fully, fully arted out. And then we can prepare our art invasion over here. And probably that one's going to be free in two days. So we go do that and we set up art there. So then he can't build things without taking a Landsrad penalty. And we're just like cackling it up, right? That's just all, all the memes. Uh, we got to figure out what we want to build in the main base. So we still have the Landsrad. The embassy is okay. Um, Landsrad quarters is okay too. I think we get a little bit of the eco tech now. Yeah, we're gonna go. Hmm. Where do we want to go? Yeah, probably two eco and three military. It's gonna be our base structure. Listening post here. We don't need to. This re region will be open in uh, in a moment. So we're gonna grab this and we'll get a worm call just in case he rolls up on us. You never know. And uh, we'll grab this fuel cell region. His army's pretty beat up, so okay, we don't need to worry too much about that. So we're gonna grab the fuel cells. Ooh, this. I think we actually take this region, guys, and we art the other one because it creates a sanctuary right next to us. Uh, let's go counter intel. I could be getting threatened uh, on the assassination. Yeah, this is going to create a sanctuary with a special region, which is really good because it, it, it keeps it in our clutches, you know? Yeah. Okay. That's a little bit greedy, but I think it's okay. Um, this region now, we can abandon this village, get our authority back, and now we're going to be getting uh, natural artwork. Okay. So it's probably, yeah, it'll add up. It'll add up for sure. We're just peaceful politicians in the corner. Yes, yes. All right, we'll take that. It's going to create a sanctuary. And we have several special regions that if the game gets close, we could just capture them. That's the idea. They're they're in our clutches, right? They are in our clutches. So EMP Blast is cute. We have a listening post here. We'll definitely get another listening post here. Do we want to go like hard on the border defense? It's kind of an interesting idea, isn't it? So political, we got that. Cosmopolitan Elite lets levels rise faster. I think we can go down and get the lay of the land isn't going to be that useful. So let's just start pumping the brakes on uh, on the eco stuff. Yeah, or not pumping the brakes, but the stepping on the pedal, as, as I should say. All right, so let's get you. Let's get an airfield out here. All right, put it a little bit deep set so it's harder to get. And then we have a sanctuary here, which is awesome. So that's all set up. That is all set up. So in the main base, let's start getting some basic eco. So we'll do the administrative fall. It gives you plus three and also authority, which is really relevant, obviously. We're going to have a shit ton and probably go for a hedge at some point. Um, so we got the art out there. This region has not been arted yet. Uh, we have another. So we have a lot of fuel cells, which is very good for our faction. Very, very good. Do we want to get anything here? Hmm. Trixie Hobbitses. I could start buying into Chome a little bit, but it's pretty expensive. Nobody's really playing the Chome, though. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty calm in the Chome game. Uh, is there any regions I can go slap down some art in? This one, I'm kind of tempted to take this region. It, it does have five wind. It's pretty damn good, too. Our uh, Fremen are ahead of us on hedge. Yeah, we have an airfield. We don't need to walk like peasants anymore. So we can fly across. And um, this, we could probably get an airfield over here. Granted, the main base kind of covers that one. So I think we're okay. 
So Lance Chad, all factions get. What is my 336, 200, and okay. So Fremen are going kind of political, actually. They're going a little bit hard in the politics. Um, I don't care about that. Nothing here really matters that much to me. So I think we're going to chill out on that. And we'll get a listening post here. will be our next building. And then we can really, really just go ape shit on the lands, Rad. So smugglers put a bounty on this. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm at the very least going to put... They're making me a shit ton of money, dude. I mean, yeah, sure. The upkeep production is cool, but... Yeah, we have 200 free votes. That's right. I think we have a little bit more than that. Do we really have... Yeah, there we go. These are all our free votes right here. Big votes on ECAS. Uh, what is he trying to vote? Okay. I'm not sure what he means. And, and yes, they went to you. He's trying to politic a little bit. I like it. I respect him. I respect the politics. Let's get another uh, knowledge building here. And let's fly back to the main base here. Let's grab that. So nice of you. I got 8K now, baby. That's a lot. That's a hell of a lot. We can start trying to buy up to 10% now. I think it's going to be prudent. Everyone's saying thank you for the money. Yeah, it's, it's so true. It's, it's great. And let's get a listening post here to spy on them. And do we have a listening post option on this side? I don't think we do. Yeah, and he's got... The, I mean, he's in the middle, so his position's precarious. It's very precarious. But we have Triple Sanctuary, which I'm really, really enjoying. And other missions... Live performance is cool. We don't really need to upgrade our military yet. In due time, we we'll get a knight soon, and we could do a little bit of raiding here. Do I have um? Do I have the art in this region? Yeah, we have art here, and this region is like fully sauced out on the art as well, if I'm not mistaken. This one I definitely want to take if I can, because fuel cells, uh, you know, very good for my faction. All right, let's get more heavies here, and we need to just gear out all our villages if we can. Worm call is going down. Hopefully, he's gonna get away. And let's start uh, gearing out our harvesters to have a little bit better spice. All right, so we're still in the negative, but we have 7k. The smugglers have been kind of helping us out a little bit, which is funny. Let's find a region that has the um, village quirk benefit where we could just get like, uh, does this one have one? Yeah, one building beach type, unfortunately, no. Uh, that is 175, so we can shuttle up there and grab that real quick. And that's going to give us a uh, border with the Fremen, which means another listening post, but also a border with the Fremen. So there's pros and cons to that. Uh, let's get the Elite Knights. So you can spend more money with the ECAS and train like higher tier units on this left-hand panel to get like super Giga Chad Knights basically, uh, which is good. And we're going to keep buying up the uh, shares here, trying to get to the next tier. Okay, Fremen are creeping over. I wonder if they're going to let us take this. They might not. It's a good thing I'm building some Knights. And uh, we'll get another War Banner going. And then we can get the Fuel Cells over there as soon as that rating stops. This will help us with the hedge. Um, I don't have missile turrets here. Probably a good idea to slap one down. Like have overlapping fires with those missile turrets. Uh, he is coming here and looking a little bit crunk. So I'm going to put a worm call there to prevent him and send him back. Okay, so he's going to get sent back. He could attack us, although he's still at peace with us. So pr likely wouldn't have, but I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk it. We want this region. It's a, it's a pretty good one. Okay, our knowledge is 29, which is pretty savage. We've been in the red economically for a long time. And um, yeah, now we're getting the chome goodness. Looking great, and here we go. All right, let's peace out. Let's peace out. All right, so we get you. We have one building of each type. So firstly, water is gonna be really good here, although we're very, very good on water. So let's just get another missile turret, and they can like have overlapping fire with one another. Yeah, it's gonna be very nice. This region's a little vulnerable for sure. We have good authority, um, and yeah, we're getting a lot of lands rad standing, right? We should be ahead of everybody because of the masterpiece building. And uh, that region's okay. Where do we want to go? Let's wait for those knights before we get a little bit too crazy out here. And we can slap down the fuel cells here. And um, the fuel cells in this region too. We got those. We got those. Okay, so we've got fuel cells pretty much everywhere we need them. Which is great. So heading back to the base. Um, we need Plasteel to upgrade that. Definitely going to get the insurance bank. So water isn't a problem. Mason's Guild gives us money in unbuilt villages. Probably just going to go for the Chome integration which is the uh, best one for just getting like a ton of money off the uh, jump markets. So missile turret up there, and then we get rare minerals too, which is pretty cute. A lot of sanctuaries in play, a lot of sanctuaries. Let's get that free knight. So we have a good army now, but our economy is in the pits. We probably need to get a little bit more aggressive here. Um, this is a fuel cell region, which I don't think we uh, arted on that one's face yet. So let's go do that. All right, so chome integration should be ready in a moment. And we can slap that down here. And give me the chome branch. Give it to me, precious. Give it to me. All right, there's Chum Branch. And are the Fremen going to attack? I doubt it. I doubt it. I have a good military now. We don't have the technology research yet, but we could go into the armory and build some stuff if need be. 
Uh, I take this region. This one has all the art in it. Um, I think we place more art over there when we get the chance. And we could also do it um, in our neutral villages, if I'm not mistaken. So 148 for that bad boy. Okay, so we're hanging tight. We're going to see what's cracking here. We are max out military army-wise. Yes, we are. So we need more command points before we can really proceed with that. And uh, let's grab it. Yep, let's grab it. So we are going to be passing the Fremen and Hedge, which is not good. Um, because we took the special region. Let's get the rare minerals up here. So let's grab that. All right, rare mineral time. That's a good one, buddy. And politically, we should be ahead of everyone. Yeah, 202. We have 524 votes right now, so we can definitely crush it. Um, let's go ahead and try and get the Water Sellers Union. I think that's going to be nice. Um, so we're going to support that. Yeah, all right, looking good. And are they going to fly over there and attack us? Smuggler's looking a little bit suspicious. I don't see anybody ending trades with me or and whatnot. Let's get you guys, and we can go ahead here and um, throw down a water in this region. Uh, no Plasgreet special resource for Ben Imperial Stations. Atreides uh, truly in the dark. Oh, no. Oh, no. I won't attack you. Don't worry. He's saying it's one of his earlier games. I can definitely tell the Smuggler player and the Fremen player are pretty seasoned the way they're playing, but um, I'll be homies with you unless you get Gov. Unless you get Gov. Yeah, Unless, there's got to be boundaries to that, right? So then we get a research building there. I'm just going to uh, hide from Fremen death stack. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how it is. Air, we need an airfield up here too, by the way. We got airfields pretty much all around. We got listening posts here. Uh, we get a, a economy buildings there too. So let's actually slap down some economy masterpieces. That's going to be nice, and we can build two of those. And uh, he seems to be peaceful. Let's get the free tech there. And we need to start getting elected to some offices here. That needs to happen pretty soon. We're about to get the plus 30, the insurance banks, which is very good. And uh, from here, let's go ahead and get the listening post on the Fremen base. We're going to play very defensively this game. Uh, I don't I don't have any intention of like aggressively expanding. I just need to somehow stabilize this economy if possible. 376. So we're going to let the pillage wear off in this, and we're actually going to capture it. And then um, we are going to uh, put a bunch of masterpieces and then abandon it. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, but I haven't played with this counselor, so I'm a little bit of a newbie with it. All right, so we got that. Um, fuel cells will be available in a moment. There we are. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes, yes. Good, good. All right, so we got the main base. Our eco is almost in the in the green. It's almost good. Water Sellers Union. We should be able to do get that. Yeah, the, we have more votes than everybody. We just have to hope that nobody like starts complaining and scheming to vote against me right now. But I am eligible for this, and there shouldn't be any chance they have against me on this. Um, yeah, so we're going to go here. And the good thing is, once ECAS wins something, um, once I win this, I can't be pushed. It can't come up for election again because of political art, which is like the whole scheme. Yeah, so we just crushed them out of the water. They didn't even try. Um, I should have put a vote onto Deer to the Minor Houses, but did somebody just break, uh, break peace with me? I think somebody did. I think there was uh, some shenanigans over there. Okay, another listening post there. That's good. That's going to be saucing up our borders. So now I have Water Sellers Union. Um, none of this union business. Yeah, he's, he's having some fun with that. Definitely need to get start stacking water now. So Water Sellers Union is giving us plus 64, which is great. So we're able to go balls deep and get that. Um, and we just keep winning offices and kind of clearing those up. You know, that's that's our, our scheming plans here. So we got that building. Um, probably want to get the spaceship parts soon. I don't know where the airfields are. Uh, let's go grab that and grab that. Okay, and I do want to try grabbing one of these in a moment and seeing what happens. This one is coming off the penalty uh, in just a second. We'll go counter intel. So we're fully stacked out on counter intel now, so we don't have to worry about getting assassinated. It would be very difficult, um, unless I overextend and like just start putting shit all over the map, right? It would be very, very difficult. All right, so we've got the crew training program. Let's do the Chome buying price, which is going to be very good. Oh, we're in the green financially, and we're political tyrants. So that's really good. Um, let's buy some more chome. We're at 8%. If we can get to 10, it's going to be more influence for us. So that's pretty sweet. Um, up here, what are the village quirks we have? We have economy buildings. Yeah, so that's good. So let's get another uh, economy masterpiece there. And that will uh, stack and you know give us a multitude of uh, benefits. All right. Military base could arguably be better there, but I think that's going to be fine. We're almost at 400. So, you know, we could go for a governor rush, but against four people like this early on when, you know, everything's kind of, yeah, it's a little dodgy. It's a little dodgy. I could make champions too now too. I could make champs. So we have a good military. It's good-ish. I think we can defend. Let's get the listening post up uh, for the borders. Yeah, we have Plasgreet factory limit, which you don't care about too much. Uh, sign a truce with somebody. So let's see if the Atreides, he said he's, 
Yeah, we could send him the political. Oh, actually, I don't know. Let's just send him the money one. Yeah, let's go for the trade agreement here. He's fighting the Fremen, so we're gonna kind of like proxy war. We're gonna we're gonna you know send him a little you know money, and maybe it'll help us both. I don't know, but it will give me the Benny Gesserit if it gets signed, which is gonna be uh, really good. Okay, so unfortunately, we are getting raided over there. Pretty good. Arrakis is my home, so he is attacking, and this base is being liberated. So we need to fly over there and salvage that to make sure that doesn't escalate. Uh, maybe we do go Plasteel up here. And do we have a maintenance center here? We don't. So I think slapping down a maintenance center right there would be really smart. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and buy a little bit more. We're at 9%. And apparently it's your home too, he says. Okay. So it looks like the Atreides maybe fended them off. He hasn't accepted my pact. Um, this one has pretty crappy traits. We clear those guys off. That has been uh, pillaged. And our poor militia. They got, they got beaten up pretty good there, didn't they? They got beaten up pretty good. All right, free Ornithopter, and um, we do also have this, which is going to be free intel, so we'll grab that. We can be friends, no need to fight. That's very much the Atreides way. We have plus nine, so we still have more votes than everybody, so I think we do. Yeah, we're going to be able to probably pass, so let's try and get Eye of the Council to get the two free agents. Speaker is like, that's that one's a little dodgy to get early. That's going to set off some warning flags, so we're going to try and weasel that one to the front and get that. And now you guys fly back over here. Looking good. We got the masterpieces coming up. We're sending posts on the border. And let's get that maintenance center right here. All right, cool. Although, is he at... Oh, look, the poor Fremen. They took that region with all my art, so they can't even build anything in it. That's hilarious. I mean, without losing, you know, uh, I believe authority for them. So that's pretty funny. All right, so coming around. And do we have enough to grab one of our territories? We do. So I'm going to test the waters on this and see if I can get this. We have our, uh, these guys should be scouting. I don't know why they're getting lazy here, but we're gonna do it. Fremen death stack from Desolation was terrified. Lady Jessica, she's solid, dude. Yeah, Lady Jessica is, is a hard carry for, for the Atreides. She's very good, very, very good. All right, so we have some developments we could do. I'd like to save up some Plasteel to have a little bit of variance in what I can do. We're gonna grab that and we're gonna try this and see how it works. Um, it's gonna temporarily screw up some of our tech here, but I think that's okay. And good. We got Chome support. Let's get Insulated Valley. It'll help a little bit. We do have some regions that have low water, I think. Is it three or less? I finally know what this tech does. It's two or less. Uh, do we, we don't really actually have any regions that have two or less. Wow, okay, that's actually just useless. So no problem. So let's go ahead and do um, the lay of the land at this point is probably worth it. And then we just go down military tech to make sure we're nice and secret and safe. Cool. And this region, um, we're just going to go ahead and gear these out. All right, so let's do that. And then we abandon this village. So we're going to get that one fully sauced out. And then we'll do the same thing down here when the time comes. That should be doable uh, next. Yeah, doing a little bit of development. Our authority is going to be good. Okay. So up on the front, we probably need an airfield. Yes, airfields for the airfield god. And you keep exploring. Up here, we got our listening post. The Bene Gesserit agent has not happened yet. Um, we could see if the Fremen want to do a trade agreement. The thing about the Fremen trading with us is they're never really that big of a uh, financial threat. So, and they can be, but I think if we can get them to um, to accept that, that's going to be really good. All right, so let's get you guys there. Did they accept it? Um, he did accept it. That's good. So now we get the Bene Gesserit, I think. Oh, it has to be a truce. Well, whatever. It's fine. I'm still happy to get that income boost. It's It's not bad. All right, so we can we have a couple ways to win. We have governor, and we also have several um, special regions like under our clutches. So we're gonna get those all geared out. All right, we're maxed out on manpower now, and our harvesters need to be geared out all the way, all the way. So at least we're in the green financially. We're almost at ten percent. Let's see if buying this can get us there. Not quite. Okay, so we're 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 gonna need to save up a little bit before we do that. Okay, so still just pimping out this region. And we can go ahead and just keep getting the masterpieces. Yes, good, good. And is there any other like little rat regions I want to take? 275 over there. We could um, oh, we could take that and just make it an art region. Yeah, that would be funny. That would be very funny. But, you know, in another life. We'll see. We're getting Landsrad standing for this, right? This is why this is so good. Um, we're at 399. The next player is at 334. Uh, all right, so let's do that. It does require a lot of Plasteel to do this, but overall I think it's pretty worth it. And Landsrad's popping up here. And votes, we have 475, 200, 204, and 386. So we're just, just ahead of the smugglers politically. Smugglers are very good politically. They, they don't mess around. Yeah, they do not mess around. All right, so we're going to see what's coming up. We'll abandon this village, and that's going to give us our sanctuaries back. So let's test the waters with that. Hopefully you're all learning with me. Um, nothing here is worth doing. Like, nothing. Yeah, nothing. We can put our free votes into the economy punishment which I think is actually, we probably want to decline labor rights. 
Because I, yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll actually vote one on that just to get the free lands rad. And then we're going to decline the, uh, we'll actually support that. Yeah, that's what I meant. Because that's going to give, um, slow down the other people who are trying to tech up since I've already finished all my eco tech. So that's the game plan. Lay of the land will give us a little bit of knowledge. Then we go down here um, and start building some special buildings. I think like an airfield would be good. I already have truces with everybody. So we're not going to get a Benny Jesuit from that. We have all these like airships flying around doing God knows what. And uh, cool, let's abandon this. Boom, so it should become a sanctuary again. Yep, and now we are still getting it. Okay, so we need to do that with the other region too. So we'll do it with this one. Yep, that's really good. That's really, really good. That's super solid. Although this one, maybe we don't do it with because we might want to take this at some point and turn it into a... Yeah, we're not going to do it with that region. I might want to use this to get, um, to get authority later on. All right, so we see the map. It looks like it's fully explored. Um, conflict's going on. It's been pretty peaceful here. Lay of the land is going to be finishing at a moment. And um, where can we develop some special regions? I think we could just slap one down back here. Let's uh, do a little bit of planning. So spacing guild branch is pretty good. Um, nukes are fun. Military factory. I don't think the experimental furnace is going to be good anywhere, really. So I'm not jamming that too much. We're also getting um, more influence now because of the map. Oh, yeah. And the masterpiece is will give more influence also. That's really good. We're at plus 14, which is pretty erect on the influence game. Let's get another airfield here just to be safe. Um, I would like to start fighting. Let's let Fremen jump up on hedge and then we just jump them when they get to the point, right? Eco development is slow. Military is going to be going down. And Fremen late game armies are definitely a little bit weaker in my experience. So that's um, quite a good thing for us. All right, so special building, nothing going there, but it's ready for us when uh, the time is time is on. We got fuel cells there. Yeah, listening posts. Politically, uh, we got water sellers union. I, the council, will give us a couple extra agents, right? Which is which is always nice. So let's just like see if we can squeeze that one in there. And here's the tech, by the way, the political art. This one gives you, um, yeah, any charter claimed cannot be proposed to vote. It's really good. Um, Fremen are creeping up. I'm still at war with them. Uh, so they're just going to pillage that, it looks like. We can go pillage this now since we're pretty much done with it. So we can just get some money from that. Might as well. And it looks like our heavies are struggling. These raiders are just jacked, dude. They're just absolutely jacked. So military propaganda, siege incentives. Um, this one's good for the mechanical units. So I think we will do that. Um, valuable trinkets is also going to give us access to the craft workshops. Okay. So let's do a little pillaging. Oh, he's actually taking that. Interesting. Okay. Was that a sanctuary of ours? That's a really close one. That's really, really close. Um, we might need to do something about that. That's pretty deep in our lands. Although, isn't that the one? Yeah, we have a bunch of art in that. So I guess he's just going for um, going for whatever he can. And we'll get a military school here, I think. <laughs> not military school. We're not playing Age of Empires. Uh, we'll get some military building there, I'm thinking. Okay, hopefully our heavy wins that fight. Looks like he won that fight down there. So we don't need to worry about that too much. And now the Freemen are right up on our border. So we can start going into the military tech. So let's get the uh, upkeep reduction first. We have that. We don't have the logistical for We're about to get that. So we can just start on the max manpower so we can actually get more manpower production. Yeah, that's good. And um, yeah, we keep an eye on the old Freeman here. Let's go ahead and grab the house gifts. We don't want the Fremen to take it. There seem to be a lot of masterpieces around here. Yeah, he's, he's just noticing. Yes, there are quite a bit. Yeah, you see, he's got a whole masterpiece village right there. And um, yeah, it's, it's absolutely hilarious. We're going to be very strong, though. I'm, I suspect we can steamroll him off when the time comes. I think we're ahead. Um, I think we're ahead. And Chom, let's go ahead and buy to 10%. So now we're up to 16, and we can also hire mercenaries. So that's pretty huge. Uh, tax has been paid. That's good. Uh, we didn't mix any of the taxes. I don't believe so. And the old Fremen. Here they are. All right. Right on our doorstep. Right on our doorstep. As it was prophesized. As it was prophesized. Okay. So let's get the free military technology here. We got the militia coming back. I almost want to build a missile turret down here, dudes. It's kind of annoying that it keeps getting raided. There must be a siege nearby. Uh, let's do a probe set up and see if we can find the siege. You can also just beat down the sieges and, you know, Keep them, uh, keep them at bay, which I think is what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to go take the siege out. Ika is going to show him the power of art. Um, so we don't have enough to upgrade anything right now. I think we can take the siege. I mean, it's mostly, it's a couple of Fidekin and warriors and skirmishers, but nothing we can't handle. Uh, these guys are all fully functional. Fremen are pulling back. And uh, let's see if there's a siege here. We're going to do the uh, mission to try and explore that in just a second. So, hey, at least we're in the, the positive financially. Not by much, but it's still, it's still something. All right, so this would be a military hub for us. Yes, let's get that. In case we end up fighting the Fremen over there, 
And we're going to take down this siege and get all the goodies that lie within. We have knights here, uh, elite knights, so they should be pretty good. So let's attack it. And cool. So yeah, these guys are going to start shooting away. So we'll just focus down the elites first. Uh, although arguably probably should focusing down the range units first is going to be a little bit better. But the squires are tanking adequately well. All right, so let's run you back so you don't get too beat up. Could have had a missile turret here preemptively, but, you know, all good. Oh, shit, one of my range units got caught and a little bit sloppy there. Are we actually winning this fight? Oh, my God, Shai Halud. Shai Halud's truly with the Fremen these days, which makes sense, you know, makes the most sense. They're going to, if we can lure them in and they actually get, like, mass eaten, that's going to be very good. So we're, yep, yeah, uh, they got munched on a little bit. Yeah, but so did we. Hmm. The worms, the worms are having their way here. So let's get another war banner, clean up that army, and uh, when Shai Halud goes away, we'll, we'll try and raid that siege again, because we killed four units. It's a shame if they'll come back, but <coughs> it is what it is. All right, Fremen Incursion. Uh, looks like they've broken the uh, political ties with me. All right, so we need to be ready to party. So let's get you guys out, and it looks like, yeah, the worm call is there. They're going for the base. Mm, it could be a little bit tricksy. I don't know if I can... Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Shai Halud. Just kidding. It was just a prank. All right, and let's get you and do this and go, like, poke them a little bit. We got the worm call. We do have the double missile turrets, which are hitting them, which is outstanding. So that's going to keep doing damage. So we'll move up and fight. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, they are running a little bit light on supplies. Let's do epic quest. I don't have a champion yet. Um, let's make you our champ, and we can do that. Nope, champion time. Okay. So we're fighting. We're going to just scoot and shoot. Scoot and shoot. Yeah, while we'll the knights keep shooting. Try and lure them away from the capture. And let's focus down the uh, demo units. So the range units are going to focus down the demo units. Unfortunately, that turret is offline right now. And the Fremen army has been pushed back to the shadows, I think. Yeah, they're, they're out of steam. And they're going to run out of supplies here in a second. So they're all like, you know, super drained. They're like, I'm too weak. I need water. Anakin, help me. Okay, that's good, though, because now I, you guys get a little action. It's a, win. it's a win for all of us, you know. Maybe he saw me going after his, uh, his buddy Siege there, and he was like, uh-oh. Yeah, I ain't looking good for your guys. That, that's for sure. All right, so now we, we know where the cookie will crumble. That is for sure the case. We have taken down all the Fremen. He used a worm call over there to prevent my harass. I, the council, is for sure going to be ours, I think. We've got 820 votes, and we're just like crushing everyone on votes. So let's go I, the council, here. Uh, yeah, Reverend Mother isn't going to happen. Cause, did he betray me? I don't think he betrayed me. I think he just broke it normally and attacked. I'm really grateful that they're not politicking too hard. I think they're all kind of like focused on their own jams, but that's going to give us two more agents, which is really nice. And uh, we'll be up for governor before you know it, but you can't really, it's too risky to go for governor without speaker, in my opinion. So we'll go for, I mean, you can, if depending on the circumstances, but we're going to go for that. All right. So we got, we got that. Nobody even, I, I shouldn't have spent that much. I, I thought they might be politicking against me and like trying to be like, oh, you know, we should... We should shut them down here, whatever, but it doesn't look like that was the case. All right, so we have the military base over there. Let's get one right here, too. All uh, right, and you guys, we got the extra two agents, so we're going to assign you guys on Chome and max out everything here, and now the armies are about ready. Do we have enough Plasteel down here? We don't. Oh, is that a Fremen descent? I think it is. Okay. And that's like one of the weird, few areas we don't have an airfield in our empire. Yeah, it's annoying as hell. All right, and um, you... Yeah, we got goodies. Let's get a little knowledge up here. Knowledge is power. You guys come down here and deal with these uh, these dreaded Fremen raiders. We have some freebies around our base. Let's uh, let's actually take the influence. I think it's more important than the money at this point. It's being able to kind of strong arm um, strong arm stuff politically is very good. All right, so we got two political offices. Uh, the Fremen wanted some. They they definitely didn't do badly. You guys should be able to clear this off. Oh, he used awaken the people on us. Okay, that's what he did. He's got a missile turret there. I have 500 authority, so I could be grabbing regions. We probably go grab that. What is he ahead of me? He is. That's good. That's really good. The fact that he's ahead of me gives me a ton of cushion. Wow, holy shit. These, these raiders are no joke. Okay. I thought this knight would just handle them, but not the case. All right. So let's get some musketeers. Get some more units coming out. Um, we got you guys. We have a lot of these. Uh, let's just kind of cut down on the clutter a little bit. I don't know if we need to, but I suppose they're useful still and um yeah let's run you guys away and get the supporters coming in don't want to lose this night if possible so we'll send you guys back to heal a little bit allied units using supply all right so he has awakened the people that's the fremen kind of special that they can do which is quite good uh we already have a military base here yeah let's get another listening post i think that's going to be better although you know arguably we might be taking this base down in a minute so i don't know how good that's going to be but yeah that, that fremen rebellion is actually feasibly strong we're about to get military propaganda. Probably main base building. We need more command points. So let's get the command post, which is going to give us plus 10 here. 
That's been cleared out. Okay, resolve that. Seems fine to me. And let's get the... Yeah, I think the command post is more important to get the military, bigger military overall. And then we can... I mean, the airship thing is... It's not as mandatory with ECAS. It's very good, but it's not like... For Fremen, they really need it. If the Fremen don't have their... their Big ship, I find that they tend to struggle a little bit. So let's go ahead and get um, the uh, shrapnel ammunitions. And the knights can get the... Mm, yeah, let's see. 30 power. No, those are fencers. I was like reading it wrong there. Uh, that's going to make our units a little bit stronger. Yeah, all right. That's going to make our, our uh, war banners better, which I think is worth doing. And we are going to build our special building down there. All right, let's pillage that. And um, yeah, the masterpieces are flowing like the salmon of Capistrano. Looks like he might come down and try a little bit of raiding here. And we do have this house gift, so let's grab that. Yeah, I see his army's gathering. He's got mobile turrets, but they don't do anything if we don't have airfield. They're just dog shit. If you don't have the Air Force units, they're not really going to do a whole lot for him. So, ooh, hello. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I respect that. So let's get back. And um, our military isn't that good. Can we take this army? It's pretty good quality, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like he's... Is he going for the siege? Oh, he's going for the siege there. Raiders? Is he going to go for my base is the question. Has he broken the pact with me? He has not. Okay, he's just pillaging a siege. That's good. I thought that there was some other funny business going. And I would love to take another spice field, so I think that's going to be uh, top of our agenda right now. Let's get a couple knights. And um, yeah, it should be fine. As far as that goes, scavenger teams is always a winner. And uh, yeah, we're in the red financially a little bit. We can sell a little bit more spice to go back in there. Yes, my lady There's not a whole lot to go explore at this point. There, there ain't a whole lot. We do have a lot of stuff down here, and it looks like one of our bases. Is, it's so easy to miss little things like that if you don't play like a macro, like out of out of kind of screen view here. But yeah, we we almost got like this shit liberated here, and yeah, we're gonna go kill the siege here because it's sending raiders at us. I wanted to do it earlier, but you know, times are uh, times are changing. All right, so what do our votes look like? We got 504, 500, and four fifty nine. Um, governorship, I don't know. Please protect your villages from raiders. I have investments there, says the smugglers. I love it. That's so funny. Yeah, what is he even doing? Is he? He's probably going to try and assassinate. I, I don't know why I'm just getting the itch that that's what's going to happen here. Uh, the knights, man, that, upgrading them, it really 20% like upkeep on them is very, very like punishing. All right, so we're going to attack this, clear this out. We should be a lot quicker. We have a much bigger army this time. All right, so let's get you guys back. Good. So we got our frontline tanking. Let's get the war banner retreating a little bit. Knights are doing it. I guess we don't have too many knights here. Oh, that's a squire. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, squires! What is this, Total War? All right, so yeah. Oh, it's mostly demo militia. That's why they're so jacked here. Okay. Get our war banner back, see if we can salvage that from being sniped. And um, chome shares are opened up, main base building. Uh, barracks, yeah, let's do the barracks. The power is just really good, and the experience gain is also nice. So this will diminish that damn sea trade. I forgot to do the probe setup there, but 4.1k and 51 authority. We're losing authority on this, but it's okay. It's not a huge deal. The Fremen are sitting on our border. They're eyeing us like a piece of meat here. They want it. They want it pretty pretty good, it would seem. All right, so we've raided that. That's going to be some nice dough. Oh, he used the uh, the worm call on us. Very cheeky. The Bene Gesserit. Do we want to get some uh, manpower here? We don't really need it. All right, and down here, we don't have quite enough to build up the big building. We've just been getting money through like the most haggard modalities possible. Uh, turret. Yeah, turret's still good. Listening post is very nice for us. We got plus 19, which is just absolutely savage. And it seems like he awakened the people on us again. So we need to just build a damn freaking airfield down there or something. I think our two knights can maybe take that. I don't know. Maybe we'll make one of them a champ. Yeah, we'll make one of them a champ and hopefully he'll be able to, like, take that on. Are we still at 10% by the way? We are. So we're at 10%. He's trying to, like, bait me away so he can attack us, I think. We got the heavy militia coming in here. He's got, yeah, he worm called us and awakened the people against us. That's like very, very aggressive. But we've been sitting on authority, which sometimes is a good thing to do. Um, yeah, because if he gets, if he, if his bar appears here, I can start using that against him politically. All right, so the champ is going to be duking it out. Um, knights, yeah. What other upgrades can we get? The area damage received, the max power. Yeah, we would just do like all the DPS upgrades on the knights to make them just absolute beasts. All right, so grab that free tech, and then you can grab that and that. Judge of the Council is up. Can I win this? 640, uh, 500, 570. I think I can. Uh, I don't care about making myself immune to this. I mean, yeah, I think so. I think we just don't. Like, they're not going to get to my main base right now. It's not like that point in the game where it's a big concern. So we get Judge of the Council uh, and slip that one in there. 
Yes, good. Okay. We we had 900 votes earlier, which was just nuts. Okay, give it to me, Precious. And we go after the Fremen here. We start use, using our authority to kind of slowly counter-expand against them. And if we can get another Spice Field, I mean, hey, that's a, that's a huge win for us, right? Yeah, ECAS, we crush it. I don't know. Yeah, they're not even trying. They're just spending their votes on other things. Oh, wow. Did the Fremen get Arc Surveys? They did. Holy shit. Okay. So that's uh, that's something. And it looks like our Knights were able to win this fight, which is outstanding. Let's get some uh, War Banner and Musketeers. All right. We unfortunately don't have, like, good production. We only produce a couple units at a time. But, you know, it is what it is. What, what can you do, man? Uh, traits here. Anything fun we want to do? Let's go ahead and get the Spacing Guild branch. It could come into play at some point. You never know. I mean, is it really, though? Yeah, it could. It could. And building ships could be relevant. We'll see how it plays out. Yes, my lady Archduchess. So we are the judge of the council now. We are just the political dark lords in this game. We are the wizards. And we're about to get full military slots. Uh, we got the airfields. I think I just slapped down an airfield here because he loves awakening the people on that one. So I'm just going to like get an airfield so I can fly down there. And uh, we are going to hustle up here. And we're going to attack into Fremen lands. Um, we can do a live performance. That's the one where when you kill your enemy units, you get uh, you know, a bunch of buffs, which I think will be good. How many knights do we have right now? Our musketeers. Yeah, let's get that. So they're going to be fully upgraded. The war banners, we can get the armor destruction, which is very good. And um, from here, that makes some... Yeah, that's a 10% upkeep cost is a lot. It's steep. It adds up, man. It, it really does. And we got a champ now, too. Okay. So we're, like, pretty balls deep in that, um, for sure. We see Siege Tabor, but, like, I don't have the intent of, like, going all the way for that. Let's get valuable trinkets so we're not caught off guard. And we can um, we can switch into, you know, a big hedge-type victory. And let's go for the Fremen Spice Field here now. We're going to we're gonna waddle down there and try and get it. And you shuttle over. Yes, please. Um, we're looking cozy here. That's going to be finishing. I feel like there's stuff I could be doing, but, you know, it is what it is. So the next building in foliage is free, which is also awesome. Okay, do we have the supply drop? We do. And what does this do? That's a probe setup. So let's do that if we can see his army. Okay. So we're going to clear out this village. Oh man, his militia died quick. Yeah, I'm so used to, I've been playing against a lot of Atreides lately, so I'm like, I'm like feeling like, yeah, that's usually the uh, standard here. So what buildings does he have? Yeah, he's got a knowledge building in this. So let's just de de destroy them and get the supply drop going just so we can have some excess um, supplies. Okay, did it go off? It did. Yeah, so we're taking that region. He's probably somewhat not happy about it, but okay with it because he wants to, um, and did we ever art that region? We didn't, we did not art that region. So we're at 500 lands rad standing, so we could be elected to governor, which I don't know if we could hold. We need to get our points back up. They're, some of them are banking. Smugglers are banking. They're probably going to try and get Speaker of the Council. Yes. I need to find a way to get some uh, some political uh, political like business soon. I don't know why I'm deleting those. It's just annoying me, just like looking at them all over there. All right, so yeah, none of that's that good for us. Although the water one could be arguably useful. I think training slots is going to be really good, so we'll slap that one in there. That's the one that lets you make more units um, when you're producing military. All right, so I think we had a couple knights. Are they still down there? Yeah, there's 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 some lads missing here. So let's get you up and you up. I think that does it for me. Is he getting sandwiched? Maybe he is. Yeah, they're just pillaging over there. So all good in the neighborhood. Uh, never say die. You know, you're never, you'll be all right. You'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be all right, man. If I take him down... Um, that would be pretty brutal. Maybe. Yeah, we can also make some art in his region. Okay, so it looks like they're all going. And oh my god, that's so annoying, dude. Oh, it's so obnoxious. All right, so let's grab you and you. Yeah, that siege is going to get just the business. I know there's one there, and um, we don't want to be losing that. So we're going to fly here with these two units and hustle over there. Oh, he's being assassinated. Oh, oh. Yeah. He's getting it. Okay, that's pretty funny. I, don't, uh, I wonder who it is. Let's see if he'll willingly, uh, freely volunteer that information. Who is it? Yeah. Let's see if he will. All right. So that's going to be ours. Let's go ahead and get that here. And um, we could start pushing. Yeah, he's hurting pretty good. We could take this region and build a bunch of art in it, which isn't a bad idea. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Damn. Damn, the Atreides guy was saying it's one of his first games and Homeboy comes out with a steel chair assassination. Holy shit. Oh my god, what a Chad. All right, so we can definitely get some uh, big expansionism going. At this point, 
I can go for hedge victory. I can do any number of things. Uh, we need to get that damn siege though, if it's there. Is it? Did we just we just did a probe set up. Where is it? Is it in here? I don't know. We gotta figure that out. Yeah, one siege has been taken down. Um, someone better grab those spice fields. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, that's 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 something. Smugglers are in between us. We're about to get the uh, military upgrade. Yeah, all right. So they know that's going on there. Nothing around the main base. Our influence should be exceeding that of the smugglers. Yeah, soon. Man, that's that's intense. I did not expect him to come out with the steel chair. That is for sure. Uh, we don't need more fuel cells. Um, as far as this goes, plus 200 max influence is okay, but I think we're already okay. I've had one spice field all game and failed two spice taxes. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he just didn't hear no bell dude all right let's keep you guys here deploy that oh feels so good to have another spice field and let's get that water because we have water sellers union too so it's going to be very prudent for us to get that and here we get rid of this get a maintenance center in there and that will hit that region too all right so we're getting a lot um we could go grab that i think just waddling and getting like these territories up here is going to be really good. Um, we can't take them for five days, is what it is, I believe. Yeah, it's five days. Okay. All right, so everything's coming together. Plasteel isn't that off the chain, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so that one gives us, yeah, Landsrad standing, which we don't care about. This one will give us money and Plasteel. This one gives us water, which financially might be the best call at this point. It's been a struggle, not going to lie. Well, you did good. You did good. All right. So there's going to be some smugglers have captured, uh, you have captured an agent of the smugglers. Okay, so smugglers are clearly up to no good against me. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to start attacking them. Because if they're if they're scheming against me and preparing assassinations and stuff, that's that ain't that ain't going to fly. All right, Speaker of the Council, can I win this 585 against, ooh, I can't win that. Okay, so if they win this, then I'm going to go all in and attack them. Yeah, I suspect they win that though. Like, um, yeah, I'm going to make myself immune to that. And then we are going to do this. And we are going to... Um, I can't win Speaker against him. Smugs can win it easy. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and vote Smugglers on this and try and hurt their economy a little bit. Okay. And we're also going to vote Smugglers on that since I'm not going to try and beat them. Yeah, and make a ton of money. And then we're going to attack them all across. It seems It seems a little dodgy, but I think it'll do, Pig. It'll do. All right. How can I help? You want to end that too. Uh, we can get you guys to go do a bit of a raid up here on this uh, spice field, and we need to hit them now. So yeah, if he gets if he gets gov, we're in big danger. All right, so let's fly. If he gets gov, we can lose the tradies. Yeah, just putting it out there, you know, making it clear that that's very much on the table. Let's get siege incentives after this. And you guys can just go in and attack this. All right, so we're going to go in and take down the spice fields now and see if we can have some success here. I don't know how it's going to go, but the attacks are going to begin. So we are attacking from two sides. And do we have supply drops? We do not. That's unfortunate, but we do get that. All right. Uh, yes, but you can reroll loss of rights. All right, so I've, I've done my politicking for the day. Um, we're pulling back. Holy shit. Okay, here he comes. He's got a lot of snipers, obviously. Uh, we want to pull back to our base. And uh, are we going to get his harvester down there? Maybe. Let's go ahead and do this to make sure we have the supplies. And the way you deal with sniper spam is you use the worm calls. That's um, hands down one of the best ways to do it. So we need to consider... Yeah, let's get an airfield out there. Um, we need to build the hedge special buildings now. So let's go ahead and we can get rid of a little bit of knowledge. And we can start on the hedge buildings. So let's get that. And passive hedge, where else do we have any special regions? We, a lot of them are in our clutches, like waiting to be captured, which we can get a big ambush on these lads. Okay, so I did get a couple of his dudes down. Uh, knights are there. Let's get you guys, all this. Those are musketeers. Oh no, those are fencers, shit. Okay, I almost like just made a shit army there. That would have been terrible. And all right, so let's get the musketeers. Perfect. And um, in the meantime, we can send a couple knights up top. Ah, oh, this is so dodgy. We need to wait for that airfield to finish. Yeah. Oh, man. He already got that spice field. Okay. So we're going to get this one. This is a special region here. So that's going to put us over the mark. But I think Atreides are too far away anyways to really, like, do a whole lot against us. Like, they might waddle up here. I'm not sure. Um, loss of rights. Yeah. We can try and get Speaker of the Council to come up again. So I'm going to put a lot of votes into trying to force that one on the table and go from there. 
Yeah, so let's just play the hedge victory now. We have politics in the back pocket, but I think this is going to be just fine. I think it's going to be just fine. So we got a lot of snipers, which are, uh, or not snipers, but the uh, these guys. They're good against the range of these smugglers. They can chase them down and potentially get good trades. Okay, so that looks good to me. Um, and we can get the, we got the water out here. What other traits do we got? Yeah, 100% of the water as a Solari. So that's going to put us at 20k, and we get another hedge building here. We can hit the middle. That might be able to hurt the um, eco of the smugglers. Does he have an airfield there? He does not. That's a big mistake, which I make all the time, so I'm not I'm not criticizing. It's very, very easy to forget when you're trying to optimize the base. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a big one for us. All right, so here, yeah, we got the 20k. So let's go hit the middle now and grab you guys, get some heavies, and we can also um, do the worm call when he starts running over. So we'll do a probe setup. That's gonna let us see where his army's at, and then we can uh, raid and pillage the middle and all that sort of good stuff. Yes, we can build a missile turret like all the way out here, which is super meme -y. And uh, let's take the middle. Yeah, let's go hard in the paint. All right, so we'll do that, and what you do against this is you just leave one mechanical unit to capture it, and uh, that will make sure you don't take damage from the mortis engine and stuff. Yeah, let's actually take his water away. That's going to be 50 water, which is pretty fat. All right, so he's coming with a big army here. Um, is he going to get wormed? Maybe his slower units will? I'm not sure. Yep, I think he got wormed a little bit. So let's get ready to party. I don't know how this fight's going to go. We'll try it. We'll try it. All right, so we're going to do scavenger teams, and uh, we're going to see what happens. All right, knights, war banners, all that sort of good stuff. Our range units are doing good. They're shooting. Yeah, the knights are fighting well in the front. The front line fighting is a little dodgy, but I think we're getting it. All right, let's snipe these guys. You to get on the range, and you to get on the range. I think we're winning it. It's a little bit of a dodgy fight. I think we're just barely edging this one out. All right, he used a worm call in our region, but my, my Chad riflemen are uh, doing great. All right, so let's uh, focus down to snipers. They do the most DPS. The knights are really, really durable. Um, I should be building the elite ones, but you know I just don't really have too much too much time for that. Yeah, ECAS armies are slightly better than smuggler armies late game. Smuggler armies are like very good defensively. Um, could be microing these units, but yeah, let's do that. Pull you back and then we just go take this region so he's going to be hurting on water now and then we grab this um this region yeah we do have the heavies here let's just get a wild missile turret and let's grab the middle all right so we're going to go for that hedge victory and then we can also try and claim some of these in the back here all right so mercs we could get some mercenaries how are we doing money wise we're doing pretty good let's buy to make sure we stay above the 10 percent uh these guys can go and um yeah he's got the mortis engine ship He's got big ship. Be wary. Yeah, so we need to switch uh, the, the upgrade off these guys, the shrapnel ammo. Otherwise, they'll just do no damage against the big boys. All right, so area damage received. Yeah, so we switch that. All right. Muskets are loaded. Did I not destroy the buildings? Shit, I didn't destroy the water reactor, did I? Yeah, I didn't. I can't win this, so we got to run. He's, he's hiring mercs. So we're just going to run away here and just cackle and get this military base here. All right, so we're pulling back. It's fine. We destroyed the water, which is going to be pretty impactful, I think. Uh, we don't have an airfield coming here, do we? Okay, we need an airfield, like, right now. Atreides probably doing their own jams around the map. Oh, okay, that's not good. So we need to get you guys to shuttle out there and go deal with that real quick. Yeah, the little things, man. You missed those. All right, so let's lure him into the missile turret. And, um, yeah, he's probably going to get us here. He's got a good army. Yeah, that damn mortis engine is really nasty. It's really nasty. The missile turret's shooting, but that airship is just so brutal. It's going to punish a lot of our guys. All right, so we're killing a fair amount here, but let's, like, run away. He's got that damn mortis slow thing, but that damn, those knights are just super chad. Look at those guys go. All right, so we're clearing that out. Uh, let's get some more banners and some musketeers. I don't think I have time to train the elite ones. And let's let the missile turret just continue its, uh, its party here. So we'll let the air, air force keep shooting. This knight can run that way. Sure, why not? And, um, yeah, we're going to have an airfield here soon. Okay, so we managed to salvage a lot of our army, and the missile turret is still shooting. I think border defenses would be good to get next, like the uh, just all the stalwart turrets and all that stuff. Yeah, perfect. So those guys are going to run out of supply. They trigger the militia, which is uh, good for us. And, whoa, what the hell? Where'd those knights go? Oh, my God, they didn't finish beating those guys? Wow, if I lose that because of that, I'm going to be really, really sad, boys. Gonna be really sad. All right, so administrative burden. That's a very good play. Um, I put Speaker of the Council up. I tried to force it with the influence. We're at 516. He's at 600 plus. So yeah, hopefully Governor does not come up. If Governor comes up, we could be in danger. I don't think I could race him. He killed my champion, which was tying 2K of my hedge together. Um, you guys need to do this. Speaker of the Council is up again. Cool. So uh, Atreides, 
I'm going to go with a wild one here. Uh, vote, voting you for speaker. Take it. Vote yourself. Okay. So I'm going to try and give it to the Atreides, which is really dodgy. It's a good win con for you. So, because I don't think I can win it, right? 516 against 600. But if the Atreides... This is so dangerous, giving the, but he's not, he doesn't have enough lands, Rad. So I think we're, I think we're okay here. Okay. So, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, wait, why did the smugglers not vote themselves on that? What the hell? Oh, he wanted the gear regs. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We don't care about gear regs. Um, okay. Let's go here. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's a gift with, you know, some strings attached, but overall, I think it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's a, a win for us. I don't trust it, but I'll take it. It's it's good for you. It's good for you, bud. Don't don't stress it. All right, let's get the worm call. Uh, and yeah, now our, our hedge has dropped down a little bit, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Yes, We've been hit with gear regs. And we can put that forward again and just hopefully muscle it back with votes later on, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, we have the gear regulations on us, which does suck. Um, the airfield, did we even want to play this game? Not really. I'd rather, yeah. So going for the airfield was kind of stupid, to be honest, but it is. It's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. Yes, my lady Archduchess. So the knights are at the ready. He's mostly spamming mercs, which is good for us. Um, we have the valuable trinkets. Our hedge is creeping. It's it's hanging out. It's not like insane or anything. We might be able to get an airfield here. Hmm, yeah, because there is a renegade base, which is going to give us a shit ton of parts. So that's good. Um, we have the special region. So let's get the, uh, the upgrade there. And now that's finally off. So that's good. So we can get some musketeers again. Knights, we need to get our knights upgraded. Yeah, so we're just going to pay the troll toll at this point. I think we're rich enough that it's okay. So let's do just the area damage received. I think that helps out against the uh, the Mortis engine ship, but I'm not sure. So we're going to kind of hang tight on that for now. All right, let's recall that. And we have some free harvesters. We can go get one of those jumping here. Uh, I need the worm call and scavenger teams. Yeah, so he could attack us in a multitude of areas. Chome is, yeah, he's at 34%. Holy shit, smugs are at 34%. Smugs at 34% chum. Heads up. Heads up. Oh my god. Just can't type for shit. Alright. So we'll deploy you when you're safe and good. And uh, ship parts are coming in very, very slowly. We're going to go bully this renegade base real quick. Hopefully we don't get attacked in that window of time. He sees it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he saw it. You know, it's an easy one to miss. We'll do this. And to get rid of the listening post here. And what do we have in this region? Anything? What buildings could possibly help us? We'll throw that down. Uh, yeah, we don't have like too many good like income buildings or anything like that. All right, so we're going to get a lot of musketeers. They're pretty good units. It's definitely nice. And the knights and company should be able to take on this renegade base, I think. Could be a little dodgy. We'll have to micro these guys. Okay, are we being attacked? Okay, that's not the worst. We have time. It's going to take him a moment to get that one. And if I can get an airship out, that's going to be really useful. All right, so let's get you on the range units. You on the range units. Yeah, pull back. So we're getting a bunch of ship parts. Um, I wonder if it'll be worth it. Yeah. Oh, he's just pillaging. That's okay. Yeah, that's all good. He's just doing a little pillaging. And he does take down one of my... Or this uh, little camp here does take down one of the boys. Oh my god, Shy Halud. I didn't even see that worm call. That one was super incognito. Okay, well... Um, yeah, that's not good. That's, that's very unfortunate. So let's get you. Let's get a military base here. And pull back. The Renegade base will have to wait for now, and let's just uh, turn this off and start banking influence again. Yeah, so the pillage is going to happen. There's not a lot I can do about that. Um, we might be able to go back later and get that. I'm probably going to grab this special region just so I can get that going. I know I'm going to be losing some of my Sanctuary bonuses, but he didn't even like really punish me too badly here. He did slow down my fuel cells, but let's get that back. And the fact that this is still open is very good. Go ahead, Ron. Grab it. Yeah, you're all good. And let's uh, get some knights here. All right, a couple of those. Probably cut one of these to get a war banner. That will give us a good army. And hmm, do we want to spring this trap early, though? The Atreides in the north are grabbing up all the lost territories from before. Shai Hulud has punished us. This place is completely open. I don't know if I could take his army, though, is the question. I really don't. I do have a shit ton of authority. I need to be grabbing stuff. This is a sanctuary for us. That's a good one, too. It's hitting a lot. It's hitting a lot. Storm is shutting us down there. We got good units coming out. Um, as far as the armory goes, yeah, they're upgraded mostly. Squires, Squires, uh, we probably want to get 
Okay, so he's coming up there. Our army should be ready to muster. It's a little dodgy, but we're going to go ahead and jump back here. Did he worm call it? I don't know if he worm called it. I don't know. So his army might be too big for us because we don't have a full force at the moment. Yeah, we don't. Live performance would be stupid because we lose influence if we lose the fights. So here we come. All right. So we're just shooting away. We're going to do a little bit of Daki here. Okay, worm calls, which is fine. So what we do is we just run out this way. Do a little bit of scooting and shooting. Ah, it's just a pillage. I mean, pillages are okay. But it's not the end of the world. Um, that will come back. Let's get an airfield out there in case we want to go that direction. Yeah, like it's not taking away our hedge is the problem for him. And now we have a big army again. Yeah, we almost have a big army here. Let's get some mercs. So in case he comes again, we are going to be able to fight him off here. And uh, from there, let's get some war banners. Yes, please. And did he destroy the airfields? I don't know if he did. Um, that has been pillaged. All good. Maybe he's going to decide he wants to take it, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. All right, let's just get some money buildings out here. Oh, he's, is he trying to assassinate? Is that a pillage? I can't tell. It's hard to tell. Okay, so that's fine. That was just a fuel cell region, but we can get those back online here. And in the main base, I don't think we ever built that last building slot, did we? Okay, fuel cell buildings coming back. Yeah, so our fuel cells are temporarily harried, but we are at the negative one. So let's actually cancel you, and that's going to put us in the positive. And then we are probably ready to fight him if he comes back. We weren't ready before, but now we are. So let's go ahead and get a champ also. Uh, it's on cooldown. Okay, so in 1.1 days we can. We need to get it. make sure we have airfields like all over the place here. Uh, border defenses, that one's going to give us a militia slot. Uh, do we have a military base here? We do not. Are we hurting on manpower at all? Listening post is probably actually the most helpful there. We're in the main base. Um, this one is going to come back online in a second. We are sitting on authority, which sucks. Um, let's go see if we can get that freaking uh, base. Yeah, he, he time, he's been attacking at pretty pretty good times for our, uh, for him. Every time we like leave to go do something, he appears. He probably has some, some sort of uh, vision on me somewhere. All right, we're going to go waddle there. And um, here we can get a listening post again. Pillages will last a little bit of time. Yeah, he can see us here. He's got that. That's probably how he's doing it, man. All right, so it's going to go up. Is it going to be governor? Be funny. If I'm the only one who's eligible for gov. I have 566. He's got... Okay, I think he beats me a little bit. No, he's actually behind me a tiny bit. Atreides has speaker of the council. Loss of rights would be really bad. That would be the worst one. We need to be very privy to loss of rights. House he has, uh, is leveraging his reputation. So yeah, let's just apply the land drought immunity to that because it only costs a little bit. Labor rights, I don't want. War of Assassins is cute. Yeah, so we're immune to that. All factions suffering this. I'm just going to deny this with like 100 points. Like whatever. Oh, but it is a house. Yeah, I have enough. That is fine. Okay, so we're just going to put like 100 into that because my economy isn't as good as theirs. So I probably wouldn't be able to survive that as easily. So let's grab some, let's do this and grab this territory too. We just need to get whatever we can at this point. We have the ambush. We can grab these two special regions in the fourth quarter to catch them off guard. So let's get this renegade base and beat that ass. Yeah, I'm sick of that shit. All right, so yeah, we are going to want to get a turret here. Let's get another heavy. Uh, we see the Mortis Engine ship chilling. This might give us enough ship parts. It's going to be kind of close. Oh, this is just the Fremen Mercenary. So yeah, we're fine there. All right, so he's cruising up north. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the Atreides might be able to kind of work some magic here. We see Moondu Valley. Uh, somebody worm calling us? I'm not sure. Okay. So that's going to be 72. You destroyed your own masterpieces? I did not. I did not. Uh, I did not. I don't think so. All right, so we got that. We can get the big ship now, which is huge. Uh, so we need to get rid of some of these shitter mercenaries because they're just going to disappear anyways and um now that we have our big ship we could definitely probably crush the smuggler army i would suspect we don't have the fuel cells for it at the moment we will when the pillage wears off let's just grab this so we're not sitting on too much authority here uh or yeah i think that would be foolish to do that okay so we're going to grab that we're going to get this i thought the imperial basin was full of them um yeah i i don't remember maybe it was i, mean, I think somebody else must have done that and let's get that authority here now. Um, are we at 10% still? We are. We should probably be buying to make it harder for him. And we could also grab this region as well. But the Atreides, do they have the tools to get over here? They do. But I think we just go grab the ones in our base. It is going to ruin our beautiful sanctuary system, but I think it's worth it at this point. All right, let's run down here. Uh, that base looks good. We got more militia there. And let's do that. Come down here and get the uh, militia up here. And are we going to miss it? Spice tax is due soon. Yeah, we're a little bit short, aren't we? All right, so let's bank that and uh, let's get water. Yeah, just get the water. Get the H2O, boys. So we're at 22. It's it's not like we have a huge amount of hedge to get, unfortunately. 
that is going to be the prideful crown, which is not the best, but let's get water here. And um, the mothership, we don't have the fuel cells for right now. Hmm. So we, I think if we delete one of these, we should have enough. Yeah, now we have enough for the monument. Cool. I don't know if we, I wonder if we could take smugs. I wonder if we could in a straight up just duel of fates. Atreides expanding pretty aggressively in the north. Um, that is one of our goodies. This is, yeah, we want to get all these authority things laying around the map. We could just go Masterpiece City. Oh, yeah, let's just go Masterpiece. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, my God. I'm going to lose some random units because of that stupid pathing. Yep. Got to love it. All right. We're just going to slap Masterpieces down in this bad boy. Um, we did lose our War Banners, which is awesome because of the uh, damn Shy Haluds. Like, the way they pathed around that was very weird. But I'm not going to spend time making the Elite ones, but we can go five Masterpieces here, and that's going to give us a shit ton of money, actually, which is great. So. All right. Let's shut her back, shuttle back. We have passive hedge. It's only 20 though at this point, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's go fire that off. And this is gonna give us a shit ton of money, this village. You guys are gonna see, it's gonna be insane. Uh, reveal a siege, sure, why not? Pillages are gonna wear off soon. And um, we have some regions we can try and grab. This is the Acid Lakes. We have this one here, but the Atreides are probably waiting on that one. Um, the Chome Overlord, is he still just buying? We're trying to keep him down. I'm buying as well now, which is, which is haggard. Oh, I'm gonna miss the tax, shit. What did we lose? Ah, just spice exchange rate. Okay, it's fine. It's not a huge deal. And uh, let's get more of you. Yes, please. We're still at 3.1 exchange rate. Yeah. I slipped up. You know, late game, things get hectic. You know, wild shit happens. Let's get a listening post here. And um, our army will be popping out soon. Hopefully he doesn't attack anytime soon. He's sitting on the border like he wants to. Uh, that's a that's a sandworm uh, free region. So there's not going to be any sandworms here. Yeah, check that out. We're getting a lot of money from that region there. That's nice. All right, raiders are coming. Uh, I think they're going down here. Let's get another uh, heavy boy. We can get rid of that, so we don't need the influence anymore. The monument's going to be here in a second, and then we're going to be uh, big pen, pen So, All right, let's get some musketeers. Uh, can we hold off the raiders? I think with th uh, extra militia popping out, we should be okay. We're at 23k. I mean, buying up to... How much money is he sitting on, by the way? Let's get uh, only 12k. It's not that much. So he's not going to be able to just buy up like and just fly into space with his, his jump. All right, so masterpieces are out. So that's going to give us a little bit of authority. Siege has been revealed. At this point, Siege is the only thing they're going to be good for is giving us authority, really. And uh, wow, that, that one is just beating us down there. I'm going to just fly my army down to squash this real quick. And then we'll move back. Gov vote soon, yeah. Unfortunately, it is going to be on the table here. We have these regions we can grab. Uh, I'm going to go for the Acid Lakes over there, I think. That seems like a cheeky little grab. It is kind of hard to defend, though. That's the only downside. All right, Gov vote soon. Well, um, you know, it's all good. So we crush that force. Um, the monument is on the table. And uh, we go for that special region out there. We can take the influence. Am I going to be have enough to win governor? I think I might, actually, which would be really funny. That would force everybody after me, though. That's the only downside. Like, everybody's going to come for me. All right, so our army's moving up this way. We should be able to defend this all in due time. And uh, cool. Then we just put the decoy thumper back here in that region and then when he tries to run he's gonna get wormed yeah that's that's the play thankfully we were already nearby so that worked out quite well actually all right and i think we win this yeah see he's gonna run into shy Halud's mouth uh yeah that was the whole plan he's gonna get munched and good night sweet prince yeah he's gonna turn around and fight he i think realized that shy Halud was waiting for him cool cool yep worms are eating worms are eating good that was a good play there that was a decent little play. Let's get the fuel cells. And uh, cool. So we just eviscerated his army. He's getting munched on. And then we can... That was actually a huge play. Like, very clutch timing. Because we... Um, yeah, we don't want to get our knights eaten. So let's pull back and just let his guys just get munched on by Shai Haloon. All right. Cool. And um, yeah, let's get you guys over. Get the monument. And we go grab the uh, acid lakes now. And let's get another worm call. That's how you counter snipers, by the way. A lot of people have been asked, uh, a couple folks in the Discord, not a lot, but a handful have been like, how do you deal with mass snipers? It's certainly not easy, but um, that's one of the best modalities for it. All right, so we'll grab the Acid Lakes. It's going to be a very good defensible position. Uh, we don't have the border defenses yet, which is unfortunate, but hopefully we'll get there in due time. Let's get another airfield down here and um, take this region. All right, cool. So I think we're okay. We got the big ship. Um, yeah, we're going to get the fuel cells back in a moment. We don't have the airfield here yet, which sucks. But his Mortis Engine ship's coming. He's probably on his way with a big mercenary army. So let's get some... Uh, how are we doing on range? Yeah, we probably need more frontliners. And then we want to get a champ too, but they do get sniped in those big fights. All right, so let's see what's going to be on the table here. I mean, I have 880 votes. I can definitely blow them out of the water. 
Speaker of the Council, perfect, perfect. I win that, we call it a day. And um, yeah, that's really good. Um, water regulations could be punishing for us, but the fact that Speaker of the Council is up and it, it then can't go up to vote and then I can reroll loss of rights is just like the most clutch shit ever. All right, so let's do that. Um, yep, nobody's saying anything, which is like perfection. I'm the only one eligible for gov right now. And, uh, you know, hey, we, we let our buddies get the loss of rights temporarily. I think the Atreides are just going for a hedge victory in the north, which is a, good, a really good play. Like cannibalizing the old Fremen territories is incredibly smart. So, And he's got 40% chum. Wow. That's super good. All right. So we got that. Atreides did try and uh, muscle that from us. But it ain't going to work. And um, let's pull back this way and just leave one of these here because they don't take damage from the acid lakes. And we got to get that hedge game going, baby. Uh, is there any free authority sitting around anywhere? I don't think so. Acid Lakes, uh, yeah, we're going to just obviously get the hegemony, hegemony buildings over there. Um, he's coming to party here. That's going to shoot us up to 25k, give or take. Yeah, it's very good. And let's get this. And um, airfield in the back corner. And the passive hedge is, is not, not insane right at the moment. Not insane. <laughs> not insane to the membrane. All right, so we got you. Let's get another airfield here. We got a worm call going down somewhere. Yeah, it looks like back there. A little sneaky worm action. 40% uh, chome. That's a journey to get to the next tier. For sure, that's a journey. Uh, military factory would just bury us financially, so I don't think we can afford to do that. Manpower uh, is the best, so we could actually probably sauce up our manpower a little bit. And we got the acid lakes. Um, let's get a champion, and maybe if we can get a lot of kills on a champ in this fight, we can like just get the hedge victory. We'll have to see. All right, so he's been re-geared out. Our manpower is very low, actually. It's very shady. Very shady. War banners do generate passive, though, which is good. And that's going to be the Prideful Crown. Border defense is probably not going to finish before the game's over. Um, he's at 45%, man. Ooh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. He might get the Chome victory on us. Um, we need to stop that Chome. Bye, if you can. I will attack also. All right, I'm trying to work with him here, but understandably, he might be a little suspicious. Um, I don't know if we can actually straight up take this lad out. It's not going to be easy. We're going to kill his harvester here, at least, to try and slow him down. But he's very close. Um, just buy a chum whenever you can, right? We, that's, that's our only play. Does he have a worm call here? I don't think so. We did kill a spice harvester. And, um, all right. Yeah, worm call as expected. Well well played. He, he got me good. He got me back for that other one we got. He's at 46% chum. Um, how much authority do we need to get that? 255? Uh, that's pretty close. And with that, we might be able to just edge it out. It's really tight, though. This is really tight, guys. All right, let's go around the top. He's going that way. We can go hit this region. That's where his airfield is, but he might just go around the front and troll me. Um, is he getting water over here? He is. So let's fly over that way. We, we have the maneuverability, but unfortunately, our monument's going to take a second to get there. Where is he going here? Is he running for this? Maybe. Okay, I'm not sure. Well, regardless, we're already flying, which is funny. The timing of that worked out well. Although he still has a lot of army here. It looks like it's just raiders. So, yeah, we should be able to get him with our air force, I think. I don't know. We flew too far because we were going to attack his middle. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah, all right, let's fly here. Take these bad boys down. Our airship is going to get gooned. So that thing got caught. That was a very good plan on his part. Very, very smooth. Uh, we have 225 at this point. Um, we have a champ. He's going to get some kills here. So we clear that out. He's going to hit that. And then we fly over and hopefully stabilize it. Let's just get war banners. The big ship is so clunky. All right, champs have done it. And now we can shuttle over here. Uh, we do have a shuttle on the acid lakes, which sucks, but it is it is what it is. We're going to have to take that. A pillage? I mean, what does the pillage even really accomplish? Probably not that much. So let's go over here and grab this. This is going to be available to us pretty soon. That's yeah, just a pillage, right? Like whatever, that's fine. It's not. It's not going to do that much. It will deny us our fuel cells a little bit, but you know, it's fine. All right, let's uh, put a little bit away so we can pay our taxes again. Oh, we're going to be in the red. All right, let's. Uh, he's at forty-seven percent. I mean, he's getting money from it, but I think we might be able to hedge race him. It's going to be really tight, boys. It's going to be really, really tight here. All right, so this is going to be statecraft, whatever. I mean, let's get a manpower building here to clear that out. We're going to take this region. Um, our authority. Oh, the water regulations is what's shitting on us. Oh. I did not notice that. That's very well played. Oh, I was like, why am I getting no authority right now? That's very problematic. All right, so let's go here and we're gonna leave one, um, not you, but we're gonna leave one knight here to just hold this. And when we can grab that, we will. It's the water authority. Oh yeah, I missed that. That's really good. All right, let's get you. Let's get this. Um, and then we can go to the middle and just harass him. Okay, we gotta buy Chome. Oh God, buy Chome. I think he's gonna get it. Bye, Chome. 
<laughs> oh no, I think he's going to get it, boys. I guess we'll do one last desperate attack on a siege. We're just going to march out. We're just going to march out and do it. Um, oh god, I can't. Not you. We don't want you to buy chum. You're the one we don't want. I'm too poor. Uh, all right. I guess I have to sell and just to muster one last desperate attack here. Well played. He's play he played very well. This is super close. Like we were very, very in this. But um, yeah, a rare, a rare chome victory from the smugglers. Well, not rare. They do it quite a bit. Smugglers and Harkonnens have the best economies in the game, hands down. So that was a very good play on his part. I probably should have aggressed on him earlier. Like I had advantages military-wise, but I kept just kind of playing defensively, trying to get those political offices. So that was a misplay, I think. But in retrospect, he also played quite well. Um, yeah, GG well played. Awesome game, man. Who would have expected the Atreides assassination too? That was some treachery, but... Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Well played to our smugglers, Chad, and also very well played to our Atreides player. He was very new. He said it was his second or third game. He took out a player via assassination. He was threatening the um, hedge game. You know, he was in it. So well played to you, dude. Cheers. See you guys next time. That's it. Let me know what you want to see next time, by the way. What, you know, faction, civ, whatever. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. That's it for tonight. And uh, well played.